Now, he was hailed a hero for saving a fellow deputy's life, but now an Orange County deputy could be sued for using excessive force. CBS2 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler is live at the Aliso Viejo Sheriff Station with his story. Stacy. Yeah, Pat, this is where both of those deputies work. Now, in a rare move, it was the court that released the video today. Take a look. It was a scene Mark Shackelford will never forget when he saw two of his neighbors on the ground at their upscale condo in Laguna Niguel bleeding from stab wounds. He called 911. When an Orange County Sheriff's deputy showed up, he says he saw 21 year old Connor Zion stab the deputy repeatedly with a large butcher knife. And the kid came up behind him and hit him, and that's when he went down, and then he just started stabbing at him. When the second officer pulled up, told him to stop. And he wouldn't. That's when Deputy Michael Higgins arrived and called for help. He's out. I got a deputy stabbed in the arm. Moments after Zion stabbed the deputy, his roommate, and his own mom, you can see Higgins shooting at Zion as Zion runs. Dash cam video shows the deputy firing nine more shots after the suspect stops moving. <laughs> Zion's mother claims the deputy then kicked her son in the head. The Orange County District Attorney found Higgins used justifiable force. He was even awarded the Medal of Valor for saving his fellow officer's life. But now, four years later, a unanimous three judge panel of the U.S. Ninth District Court of Appeals found when police confront a suspect who poses an immediate threat, they may use deadly force against him. But they must stop using deadly force when the suspect no longer poses a threat. Because of the ruling, the deputy may be sued for using excessive force. I don't think it's a fair ruling at all. They put their lives on the line. They're, they're protecting us, they're protecting all the kids that lived in this neighborhood that were out at the time. And I don't know what they want them to do. That's shocking that they can sue a civil servant. And the court came to its decision in a lawsuit filed by Zion's mother. Rick and Pat. All right, thank you, Stacey.